welcome viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exam. So basically uh, this is the continuation of the revision of the 2022 science paper 1. So in the first two episodes we covered question 1 through 10. So in this episode we are going to start with question 11. So let us move straight to question 11. Question A11. The transparent material has a refractive index of 2.0. What is the critical angle of the transparent material? So uh, basically the question is asking us uh, to find the uh, critical angle. So uh, for us to uh, find the critical angle, first of all we need to understand what is a critical angle because this is one of the most uh, common question that normally comes in science paper one. So when you're talking about a critical angle, basically uh, we are referring to uh, basically the angle of incidence in a denser medium for uh, which the angle of reflection in the less denser medium is 90 degrees. So uh, for example, if uh, basically we have uh, this is uh, the barrier then uh, we have uh, this to be uh, the normal then we have this uh, ray of light that comes at this uh, angle so if this is uh, the angle then we are moving let us say for, for example from water that's where the ray is coming from then it's going to the air which is less uh, denser so basically what will happen is uh, the ray of light uh, will be uh, deflected away from the normal that's uh, basically what happens when the ray of light is coming from uh, a denser to a less denser. Then uh, basically when you are talking about uh, the critical angle, we are talking about uh, this angle such that when this array of light enters, so this angle, then uh, the reflected layer is reflected enough to uh, move along uh, this uh, line. Then this uh, basically is uh, basically the critical angle such that uh, this angle is see, 90 degrees. You see in this angle the reflected layer is uh, just basically 90 degrees to the normal such that if this angle is increased to increase it to this then there will be a uh, deflection. So if you just increase beyond that this angle just then there will be a uh, deflection. So such an angle this angle is uh, basically the uh, critical angle. This angle that makes this uh, line to move in this direction. You see this angle we are calling the critical angle. Then the question is uh, basically how do you find uh, the critical angle? So the critical angle is basically given by uh, sine inverse then 1 over the uh, reflective index of the media which uh, you are finding that critical angle for. So in this case uh, we have the reflective index of this which will be uh, basically sine 1 over 2 which is basically sine inverse so inverse of sine then as 0 0.5 when we use our calculator we are going to discover that this is a basically 30 degrees so 30 degrees is basically the answer so when you look at the options we discover that a is the correct answer let us look at question a12 a steel bar was being magnetized using an electrical method which of the following we increase the strength of the magnet are produced. So basically uh, we have uh, two uh, key things that we've been given. Uh, we, we are told that basically we are using uh, a steel bar. Then uh, basically uh, this method is an uh, electrical method. Then the question is asking us uh, basically uh, to identify uh, what will increase uh, the strength of the magnet are produced. And now uh, basically the strength of the electromagnet which is uh, the magnet produced uh, using electrical method uh, basically depends on uh, three key things. Uh, basically uh, the first one uh, being uh, the current. Now basically the uh, strength of uh, the magnetic field uh, increases uh, when we increase uh, the current uh, through uh, the solenoid. 
So uh, the moment uh, we reduce the current uh, passing through uh, a given uh, solenoid, basically the uh, strength uh, reduces. Uh, increasing the current uh, will uh, increase the strength of the magnet uh, produced. Then uh, number two is uh, basically uh, the number of uh, turns uh, in uh, the solenoid. Uh, basically, when uh, we increase uh, the number of turns, uh, basically the strength uh, increases. Then uh, when we reduce the number of turns, uh, basically, uh, the strength also uh, basically reduces. You need to take note of that. Then uh, lastly is basically the material that we use uh, to uh, magnetize. So basically the steel bar is uh, basically used for a permanent magnet. Then uh, basically when you use uh, the iron bar, the iron bar is used uh, to make a temporal magnet and it is uh, easily and strongly magnetized. So once we are using uh, the iron bar, we are more likely to make a strong magnet, though uh, it is uh, going to be a temporal magnet. Then um, let us look at now uh, the options. So we have uh, A, which is talking about decreasing the alternating current passing through the coil. So basically, we are not using our alternating current. Remember, alternating current is used in the transformers either to step down or step up a voltage of um, the the power which is uh, basically uh, induced in the, uh, that uh, socket or line. Then we use a DC to uh, make magnet using electrical uh, method, which is the direct current. So anything uh, decreasing, not collect. So that. Then you notice that uh, we are increasing uh, the alternating current in this case because it's alternating, then this is incorrect. Then uh, increasing the direct current passing through uh, the coil. So uh, D is the collecting answer. So take note of the three uh, key factors that I've given you. Let us look at question A13. The following diagram shows a steel bar being made into a magnet using a double touch stroking method. So basically, again, you need to know these two methods. So there's a basically double touch stroking method and a single touch stroking method. The single stroking method, basically, out of these two, you can just remove one. Then you're going to remain with one. That one is now becomes a single touch stroking method. But basically, whatever we are going to discuss here applies even to uh, one a case, which is the single attached stroking method. So in this case, what you notice in this case, uh, the stroking is in this direction. So when you're stroking, uh, basically, the, uh, the poles that are going to be uh, produced at the end will be opposite to uh, this pole, which is at the beginning. So basically, since this is north, here we're going to end up with south. Then the direction again is in this direction. Then again, since this is north, this is going to be the opposite uh, pole, which is south. So we are going to have south, south. So you notice that in this case, uh, B is the collecting answer. So if it was a single uh, touch stroking method, you remove this one. So just B, this one will be uh, south. Then uh, if it was a case that this was south, then this was north. Then this south, uh, this north, then um, this was going to be the opposite is going to be north. Then the opposite is going to be north since in this uh, direction. So that's how you answer uh, this uh, question. So take note of that. When you are stroking, uh, basically the pole that will be uh, produced will be opposite to this pole which is used uh, to uh, stroke uh, the, uh, the bar that we are trying to uh, magnetize. Let us look at question A14. The following diagram shows a charged polyethylene rod which is moved near end V of the metal sphere mounted on an insulating stand. Then uh, you notice that uh, basically the charged polyethylene, this is uh, basically negatively charged. You see this a uh, negative charge. Then uh, basically, which of the following diagrams show the collect charge distribution on the sphere? 
So basically, uh, you are uh, bringing the negatively charged. So now, by uh, the law of uh, basically electrostatic, which is the first law of electrostatic, uh, it says that uh, basically the like charges repels each other, while unlike charges attract each other. So now what is going to happen is basically because this is a negative charge, when it's brought to a near beam, it's going to attract the positive charge. Then uh, the negative charge are going to be repelled in this direction. That's uh, what is going to happen. So that will be uh, basically the distribution of the charge on the uh, insulated sphere. So uh, let us look at the option. So A is incorrect because there are no negative charges. B is uh, basically correct. You have positive and negatives like in um that a uh, v is incorrect you are supposed to have positives here not here and negatives then also d is incorrect so b is the correct answer so remember what are the first law of electrostatic st states this is again one of uh, the most uh common uh, question in exams so it's better that you know uh, the so like charges it repels then uh while unlike uh charges attracting uh, basically each other so they attracting each other so take note of this uh, principle once you know this principle you notice that this will be uh, a simple question so if it was a positive that was going to be brought near it what you discover is the negatives are going to come here then positively will be uh, repelled the other direction so you need to know that let us look at question a15 the diagram shows an electric circuit with two identical lamps, L subscript 1 and L subscript 2, connected in series to a 1.5 volt supply. Which statement is a collect? Option A, both L subscript 1 and L subscript 2 will light with the same brightness because they are at the same potential. Then uh, B, L1 lights brighter than L2 because it is at a higher potential then C L1 lights brighter than L2 because it is at a lower potential then L2 lights brighter than L1 because it is at a higher potential that's uh, option D so uh, basically uh, for last to answer uh, this question we need to know the two key facts about a uh, circuits in a uh, series so you notice that this is uh, basically in the series so in series uh, you notice that all components they will have the same current but different uh, potential energy assuming that they are not uh, basically the same but in this case we are told that uh, basically these are identical so the total of voltage here in the current is equal to uh, let us say this is uh, at this point voltage one then this is uh, voltage 1 then this is voltage 2 so it will be basically voltage is equal to a voltage 1 plus a voltage a 2 then uh, how do you find voltage so voltage is given by a uh, basically current multiplied by in a uh, resistor now in this series circuit uh, basically the current is the same and these are basically identical resistor so meaning the resistor this is and this resistor they are the same so this tells me that uh, voltage is equal to a uh, basically current which is the same multiplied by resistor 1 then plus a uh, current multiplied by a uh, resistor 2 now a uh, resistor 1 is equal to a uh, resistor 2 so meaning uh, basically these two are the same so this tells me that if these two are the same it means voltage 1 is equal to a uh, voltage 2 so meaning um, the uh, potential energy will still uh, be the same so if you look at the option as tells us say both L subscript 1 and L subscript 2 will light with the same brightness because they are at the same potential so this is uh, true so you notice that uh, basically A will be the correct answer so uh, B is incorrect C is incorrect so is this a principle that you need to use and also notice that uh, the current in the uh, parallel circuit is uh, basically different while our potential energy uh, remains the same so what is critical in this one is uh, the identical lamp that's where the crew is so once you miss this one you are going to get it uh, incorrect so uh, this is how you answer question 15 uh, so please uh, join me in the uh, last part where we we'll, uh, look at uh, 
question 16 through 20. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing, you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel, we discover that we've got so much content. So we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is the best a section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic